I'm Clara. Have you ever met some alarms of your laser cutting machine? Please write it in the comment below. We can share the experience with other friends. Today we are going to discuss an alarm happened to the Faber laser cutting. Is the positive soft limit is valid? Have you met it? Please make sure your cutting system is set cut. If no, probably the video is not what you want. Before get into the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me your like. Thanks a lot. All machines could have this alarm, no matter a single platform or double extendable platforms. If we encounter the Z positive soft limit is valid, alarm, the machine cannot continue to process. First, we need to check the Z axis range. The basic step, we need to press F2 on the height controller and then press number one. We can see the parameter sighting interface. The last line, it shows the Z axis range. If the value here is much smaller, like 100, please change it to 999.99 so that there is enough space to allow the cutting head following. If the values has been 999.99, which means the reason for the alarm is not here, we need to go to the second step. Here, this step is not suitable for single platform because single platform doesn't need to take care, which can go to next step directly. If the laser is exchangeable platforms, we need to get into the machine configure tool, table exchange, at the left corner column, Z axis range here, the Yo's different Z range is ticked. I will explain the function here. If the Yo's different Z range is enabled, when the exchanged table is in position, the Z moving stroke should be decided by the set Z axis range. When the exchanged table is not in position, the Z moving stroke is decided by the smaller value between the pilot A and pilot B here. So the alarm could be caused by the unsuited values set here in the pilot A and pilot B here. We need to recite the corresponding Z axis moving strokes and input them here. The pilot A and pilot B so as to ensure that the axis can follow the mental shape normally during the process. The values in pilot A and pilot B here are not unified or in common. The two values are set according to the mechanical installation stroke of the machine. So there's no fixed ones. If we find the above values are set properly, move to the third step. It should be the third step for lasers of exchangeable tables. Second step for the single table. We need to check whether the actual moving height of the cutting head corresponds to the Z axis coordinate on the software. If the actual height of the cutting head is not equal to the corresponding Z axis coordinate, it means that the Z axis origin coordinate recorded by the software is wrong. We need to perform origin of the Z axis on the head controller and re-establish the axis coordinate system. If the actual movement height of the cutting head still cannot correspond to the Z axis coordinate after the above steps and the machine still cannot perform cutting, two options. 
If your laser is still under warranty, please contact your supplier for customized problem funding and resolution. If your machine is out of warranty, trust me and come to me. My contact information is over here. It's not free, but it's worth every penny. Next week, I'm going to share the solution for the alarm. Local capacity is more. It's for the height controller. Please continue to follow me. Thank you for joining me here today. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. See you. Bye.